In our previous video already we have discussed how we can troubleshoot the errors we generally get into your websites and the web applications. We have also seen how we can remotely debug the errors which is forming in your website's deployment. Now here we are going to see how we can monitor those errors and how we can check the logs for it. So here we are going to start with troubleshooting your all the errors of your system and the services which you have deployed using your troubleshoot monitor. So the troubleshoot monitors create a separate log for each and every service generally you deploy. As we know if you are using an infrastructure, you have your systems connected or the servers connected which will be deploying your services and the clients at one end which will be accessing the services and you have a network in between. So here you can see these are the client applications, your rich clients, your mobile applications, your web applications are deployed over here and these are the storage services where generally you have the storage of these applications into different storages like your blob storage, your queue storage, table storage and your file storage and the network is there in between to connect between this particular resources. Now, you can see along with this particular services, you also have a monitoring log which is continuously monitoring this particular service and the device is connected over here. So each and every service you have, each and every deployment you do, every, every service has their each log. So you can see this is a client log which contains all the logs regarding all the customers or all the end users who are connecting to your services and from which device they are connecting to the service. It will contain both the success as well as your failure logs. Same way you have logs for your network related services as well as well it will include all the networking devices which is your virtual networking devices like your VNIC, your V switches, everything will be logged over here. If you have failure into any of your devices, you will be able to see the logs into and logs and the failure reports of those particular devices. Same way here we have different storages or you might be having your servers which is deploying the services. If you are getting this kind of storage and server, they also have their own logins and you can check for these logs if you find any difficulties connecting to any particular server. So how your monitor log looks like? So you can see this is the my Azure monitor logs where generally you have a different graphical or a, you know graph format of each and every logs. You will be able to see the device working, the number of warnings into your logs. You will be able to see the resources, the utilization of the resources in both pie chart as well as you might see into your historical diagrammatical format. Same, you will have a summary report below. You will be able to see what is the data utilization, what is the space of the disk you have used for storing the data, what is the network utilization and CPU utilization for running those services or storing the data. So each and every logs will be created in a single wizard itself and this particular window will show you all the logs. You can scroll down and check for more logs. So let us see practically how we can check the logs our existing applications into our Azure. So let us move to the portal. So we have seen how we can create our applications. We have created our mobile application. We have created our web applications. And um, into your web applications, uh, you can see if suppose you have a problem, you can troubleshoot everything from here itself. So for troubleshooting, you have different section into it, into your web application itself. You can see here, you have support and troubleshooting. So here you can check for your resources, which you have connected the health of your resources over here. You can check for your application service advisor. And also you can have a look on your new support request. So once you click on resource health, it will check for all the resources you have connected for this particular applications and all the particular, you know, uh, triggers we have created, which are the backend services you have defined over here. Everything will be checked by your resource health and it will also check for your, uh, you know, from where we are going to deploy our application, the source is performed correct or not, the source code is triggered well or not. So everything will be checked over here. As of now, we haven't connected any particular program into it, so we are not able to get anything over here. So here you can see the application service advisor. It will advise you if any fault it, you know, it logs out or if you check for any of your uh, error logs into it, it will uh, inform you this is the log and this is uh, the error report you generally have and you need to correct in such a way. 
So this application service advisor will provide you. As of now, it is showing you things are looking good. We scanned your application, could not find any recommended settings for you, right? So the health check is not finding available. And so it is showing you available and the web app is running normally. So there is no error into your web application, which we have created. And if suppose you are not able to find any kind of error from here, you can directly go for new support request where you can uh, find out the issue which you have and you need to list out the issue which you have either your billing issue technical issue or which kind of issues so once you have selected that issue you can uh, report this particular problem to your microsoft and you can uh, provide your contact information so that your microsoft contacts you along with the solution so this is how generally we can troubleshoot your web applications into your azure